Much of chemistry takes place in solution, introducing our next tool of stoichiometry, solution concentration or molarity. Molarity is a unit that is often abbreviated as capital M and is defined as one mole of a substance per liter of a solution. For instance, if, say, a solution has a concentration of 1.20 molar sodium chloride, this means that there are 1.20 moles of sodium chloride per liter of solution. Let's begin by calculating the concentration of a solution of glucose in water. Let's say we dissolve 2.00 grams of glucose in 100 milliliters of water. Glucose is a simple sugar with a molecular formula C6H12O6. Our goal is to calculate the concentration in moles per liter or equivalently to determine the molarity of the solution. We begin by writing down our initial conditions. We have 2.00 grams glucose per 100 milliliters of solution. First, we convert the number from grams of glucose to moles of glucose. To do this, we need the molecular weight of glucose. Earlier, in this module, we showed how to calculate the molecular weight of a substance giving its chemical formula and the periodic table. For glucose, the molecular weight is 180.158 grams per mole. We can now use this to convert from grams of glucose to moles of glucose by multiplying by one mole of glucose per 180.158 grams of glucose. Next, we need to convert the denominator from milliliters to liters, which we do through the unit definition that there are 1,000 milliliters per liter of solution. Carrying out this math, we get a value of 0.1 one one. In canceling units, we see the final units are moles of glucose per liter of solution, which is equivalent to 0 0.111 molar glucose. Note that since the experimental conditions were known to three significant figures, both the two grams and the 100 milliliters are given to three significant figures. We keep three significant figures in the final result.